Here we are, 2001, stage 13, Tour de France, Lauren Jalibur on the gas, on the attack. And we we talked about stage, you know, stage 8 in, in this year's Giro, where Stephen Kushwick crashed and no one waited for him. Now here's a good example. Jan Uwek over the barriers, cooked the corner, Lance just in the blue. So they were on the attack, they attacked up the Parasword. And I, actually, I was in France this time. In 2001, this is actually the last time I had beer, it was Bastille Day. Last time I had alcohol was Bastille Day, 2001, July 14th. This is dates July 21st, I think. Stage 13, 2001, Tour de France. Jan Uric in the German national jersey. Kevin Livingston on the right there, another gasser, waiting up on the Team Telecom Pinarellos of the Campag record, just waiting there. Watch how aware Kevin Livingston is. Just really good domestic, just really good. You know, looking back, looking back. Making sure, looking back, making sure he's not dropping him. You know, seeing, make sure he's in gear, the right gear and stuff like that. I think it won't be long before pros start using mirrors, because when you look back, you waste <coughs> you waste energy. So having mirrors, like I've got that little Italian race mirror on my bike, that's what's going to be handy. So it won't be long before they're running mirrors, and that because of Duran Riders recommendations, or maybe not. But anyway, they'll be running mirrors. So mirrors make fucking sense in racing. Crash, look at that over again. The camera flicks out. Mm. That's when the corner again. All right, so we slow mo crash that one. He's okay. He's very lucky, but Kruishwick was unlucky. His bike fucked up, but then no one waited for him. So you will see here that there's been a big attack. They just smashed it over the Parasword. Lance Armstrong is going to win the stage. Lance Armstrong had the highest cadence in the Tour de France. All right, in 2001, he was dropping motherfuckers like the amateurs, and because they're pedaling like amateurs, like Jan Ulrich, just was grinding compared to Lance. Now they're spinning a bit here. Kevin Livingston's a bit high cadence, he's a bit more clued up. But, you know, John and Lance have the best drugs, the best genetics, and they've just smashed everyone. So Kevin Livingston's probably doing about 350 watts right now. And Ulrich's just coast coasting, that's how important drafting is. And they're coming into another corner, you know. And this is where you've got to stay cool, calm, and collected. Ulrich's just crashed. He's racing to win the Tour de France. He's just crashed, he's, got, he's hoping they're waiting up, he doesn't even know. Lance, look at Lance. Lance is waiting. Lance is doing good sportsmanship. He's looking back. He's just he's coasting down the hill. He's having a stretch. He's letting it known, and he's caught up to a couple of other guys. Looks like Kivalev and maybe Balaki. But Balaki, he's sitting uh, third in GC, maybe seven seconds behind Ulrich. So he's like, "Fuck Ulrich! I'm going to attack. I'm going to push the pace." And Lance is, you know, he's he's not going to let uh, Balaki get some time. So he's just going to sit on Balaki's wheel. Kivalev, you know, uh, he actually died. The, Two years later, and that's why the UCI helmet rule came in because Andre Kivalev hit the hit the ground, split his open, and unfortunately died. So Kivalev was the reason the UCI issues helmets. So a lot of these people these days watching you know cycling on YouTube and that they don't know the history, and they don't know the sportsmanship. I definitely feel that in this year's Giro it was unfair. Some people say if you can't descend and you crash, it's your fault. Yeah, I agree, but do you want to win the race because someone crashed out? You know, I mean that is bike racing for sure, but I don't know. I, I I, th I like Lance Armstrong's sportsmanship and how he waited. Yeah, Lance was a cunt in other ways, but he was just a businessman. But when it comes to the race, you know, he waited for people, man. He waited for his main competition because he didn't want to win. He wanted to win as the best rider, not as the luckiest rider. So, what was that bit of a... Gave, I think he gave him his bottle or something like that. So, he's done a domestic role. He's really good. And Balocchi's just fucking launching. He's probably doing 400 watts right now, 450 watts, and he's just launching. And look at this. Oh, he's going to bridge the gap. World Time Trial Champion is going to bridge the gap. Olympic gold medal of Sydney Games going to bridge the gap. Look at that, he's bridging the gap out the saddle with the Ulrich and Kivalev and that. And Lance, he's just covering him. He's just Lance could break away any motherfucking second. Lance can time trial like a mofo. He can climb this better than anyone here. So he's just right. Lance is just. I've ridden with Lance, and I can tell why he's pedaling technique right now. He's just he's just tapping it out. He's looking over. He's so relaxed, man. He's so relaxed. This is like high tempo for Lance. He's just cruising. He's going to put a minute into these guys on one climb, you know. So he's just chilling. Lance on the back. Kevin Livingston, he's on the limit. Ulrich's on the limit. Balocchi's on the limit. Kivalev is on the absolute limit. Lance Armstrong is doing it fucking easy. But Lance did the right thing. He didn't attack Ulrich. Ulrich is going to, is the main competition here. So J uh, Jalibur, he's cooked. He's bonking. He's running out of carbs. He's been on the on the front all day and been on the breakaway, so fair enough. But look at that low cadence. So these days, if you grind that much, you just dropped. None of these guys would keep up today. They really struggle with the high cadence. Now look at it, it's just really inefficient. Really inefficient. But they're, they're, there's a whole massive peloton behind these guys, you know. So they're, they're quite a ways out. But Jalabert went from sprinter to climber. 
that's how powerful you know, drugs are. Is you fucking turn into anything. There's a quote up for the other riders. Uh, it's like uh, Santiago Batero in the green jersey. Kelmo right on the look to, I think it's 281, 286. The Kelmo looks, remember them? The the one inch one inch steerer, the flex noodles. Look at Lance. Lance, yeah, I get a bottle. No sticky bidding for Lance. Lance doesn't need a fucking sticky bidding. Look at that. Not even a sticky power bar. You know what I mean? Because Lance is going to fucking roast every motherfucker here. No sticky biddings for Lance. He just didn't want that. He's just talking. He's just fucking chatting. He's, he's turning his head. Like That's how easy Lance is doing it. He's like, I just caught up some Sunday weekend warriors and I'm just going to fucking cook them in the next climb. Look at him. He's even dropping back. He's dropping back. Patero's in the front just fucking grinding it out in those old 7700 Jurace cranks. And then and Kivalev's going to take the turn. And Lance is having a fucking conversation with uh, Johan Brunel on the back. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, bro. Yeah, what's the weather forecast? What do you got planned for the weekend? Yeah, I'm just, just hanging out. Mate, Lance Armstrong is next level. He was never going to lose. He was just next level. His cadence was just better. And his legs, his metabolic uh, waste product levels were a lot lower because he was spinning more. Look at Lance. You know, he's just he's just doing it easy. Where is he? He's just still talking about holidays with Brunel. Now he's moved back up into uh, fourth wheel there. And he's just doing it easy. They're about to... It looks like a bit of attack going on here. Here we go. Someone's on the move. Someone's on the move. But Lance has just got to roast every motherfucker here. All right? So, at the end of the day, Lance won the stage. He waited for Ulrich. He could have smoked him. He didn't. He waited. He won like a true champion. Balocchi's attacked. You know, so Balocchi wants to win. He wants to distance Ulrich. He wants to really hurt him. But he didn't. And Lance won. Ulrich got second. And that, there you go. That just goes to show the sportsmanship that Lance Armstrong had. When it came to actual race day, the sportsmanship was there. And today, these riders, you know, I, I, I feel it was too cutthroat in 2016. You know, Lance did the right thing. He waited for Ulrich. And he's look at he's just he's just shadowing. He's just shadowing. He's just gonna blow. Lance could have attacked at the bottom of this climb and put fucking five minutes into him. He could have, but he didn't make it too obvious. So he just put a minute into him. He was very careful. Lance was just next motherfucking level. Next level. To, you know. Kivalev there, but Kivalev is on the limit. Ulrich's on the limit. Lance is just doing it easy as fuck. But that was great sportsmanship by Lance. I think the riders of today could have learned of Lance's behaviour in the Peloton, stage 13, 2001, Tour de France, on the Parasword. I'll leave your comments down below. See you soon.